Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen welcome ladies. to welcome, welcome to Nasty Brutus in Shorts. <laughs> My name is Blair Thomas. I'm Sandy Gurdy. We're with the Chicago International Puppet Theater Festival, and we're very grateful to be here at Lynx Hall. Yes, Lynx Hall! <laughs> yes. And to acknowledge that Lynx Hall stands on the ancestral lands of the indigenous people of the uh, Council of the Three Fires, who has shepherded the land over centuries and their example we are grateful for and uh, we hope to emulate as a way of stewardship for carrying the, the land into the future. So for that we're thankful. Mm -hmm. And uh, we uh, would also say that there's a puppet festival going on, mm -hmm. right? True. <laughs> yes. True. And so uh, we have, uh, there's some puppet shows here tonight that you'll see, but there are other shows happening at other places as well, right? We've got some stuff happening at a variety of places. We do want to mention uh, the, the, the Fine Arts Building. We have some exhibits, and we have a uh, something new this year, which is a hub uh, where you can uh, come. There's a cafe, that well, it's a pop-up cafe that we've took our, our puppet studio, it's usually a place where we make our puppets and teach our classes, and now it's a cafe where you can get an espresso and, uh, and, a, and a good soup. Like a grown-up. <laughs> yeah, like a grown-up. So, uh, uh, so please, come down, that's open all the time. There's uh, four exhibits, and uh, some are documentation of work, others are actual installations themselves, and uh, uh, tomorrow, which is uh, Saturday, we will have the Ellen von Volkenberg Symposium, where you can so sort of where are all these ideas of puppetry coming from? How, does, how are people even imagining the things that you see on the stages in the festival? Well, you can hear from the artists themselves. We have two panel discussions, one at 10 and one at one, and uh, directors and creators from different companies are getting together and, t and talking about the origins of their ideas and then, ex and then having discussions about the commonalities of their visual languages. And that's happening in person at the Fine Arts Building in the Studebaker Theater for free, but also online, live streaming. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, which this event itself tonight is also live stream, as uh, you may know. Um, uh, so, uh, is there more to be said? Well, I would just like to thank Rough House. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. What else? Maybe a little something about... Well, actually, we're going to introduce a couple of people. We have the directors of the Nasty Brews and Shorts, Myra and Caitlin, please come forward. They have a few things to say. Caitlin, and we're the co-curators of Nasty Brutish and Short. Thank you for coming to our first slam of the festival yeah. season. Yeah. Snap, snap, snap. Um, <laughs> yes, we wanted to acknowledge that we are funded by the Puppet Slam Network, and for, yes, <laughs> yes, they truly do make it possible to have Nasty Brutish and Short. Um, and then also our producers, um, during the festival, of course, the Chicago International Puppet Festival, which you might have heard of, as well as Rough House and Lynx Hall, um, the, yeah. where we are right now. So huzzah, all the people that make this happen so that we can get some fun, quirky, edgy puppet theater on stage for all your faces and the people in our, our, that are on computer screens or couches in the world. Yeah. And we have three more slams coming up after this. So there's one tomorrow, also at 10.30, and then next week, Friday and Saturday, 10.30, 10.30. <laughs> Late night fun. Consistent. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's turn it over to Noagenics Puppet Company. Yes. <laughs> Not yet! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, 
going to be talking to this little soup can on a stick. Um, yeah. Welcome, uh, Hello, everyone, yes. and welcome to Nasty, Brutish, and Short. Wonderful. And one of the I other see anybody annoying here. things <laughs> oh, is that we have Toronto the Moose. Hello, everybody. Yes. You ruined what I was going to say. Oh, what were you going to say? If you would get out of my light. Hmm. Sorry, it's my antlers. Well, maybe you should have left your antlers at home with your uncle's. <laughs> that was cute. Yeah. That was a cute joke. All right. Thank you. It was, it was okay. Um, but what I was going to say, you can, uh, it, I'm just uh, funning around here. This is my good friend Toronto. Um, for the people at home, uh, you get to watch us be uh, stupid um, here talking to you. But you here in the crowd, you get to see all of the other stuff that the people at home uh, don't get to see because you can see that uh, we are not only are we not wearing pants, but um, we do not have any legs. Uh, so yeah, the people at home don't get to see that. They just get to see us. Uh, so what I'm saying is that e even though we might not be, what do you want? I never looked down there before. It's scary. <laughs> You had to tell me that right now, okay. Yeah, because I got the audience sympathy. <laughs> I can do anything I want now. <laughs> okay, oh, for, uh, who gave you that suit? The, why, does, why do you look like me? Why do you look like me? No, 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 I was here first. Oh, man, I guess I shouldn't have gone through your closet. Uh, I'm surprised okay. it fit. Yes, me too. Yeah. I had it uh, tailored for a pig. <laughs> but uh, he had to go to Milwaukee, so. Yeah. It happens. Anyway, um, our, our first piece tonight, ha, there, yeah, out there, we have uh, been uh, uh, crafting this running order all evening, and um, the first piece for tonight, your for your enjoyment and your enjoyment, yes. And um, yours. Right. I usually do this as a single. This is going to be really complicated. <laughs> Okay, um. <laughs> I missed. You know, there's still a pandemic going on. Yeah. Oh, by the way, thank you all for wearing your masks yeah. if you are wearing them. Thank you. Yes. Give yourself a round of applause. Yes, there yeah. used to be somebody who said if you didn't wear masks, he was going to come and, uh, I don't know, ruin all your orgasms or something. But um, uh, what he's not saying, uh, we're not saying that this time. No, no we're just saying, uh, no, being more point. Nobody brought it up. That's right. If you are wearing them, thank you, and um, uh, moving on. Okay, <laughs> the first piece tonight of this inaugural slam is, uh, here we have uh, Myra Koa and Larry Leopoldo with the soup and the crumbs. I cut my hands to gather the crumbs. The table creaks like a ship drowning. Sweep the crumbs off the floor and dump them. The 
get the pot and prepare the soup. This teaching is a, is a required ritual. Otherwise, the plumbing gets stuck in the heat. something I will let you hear, my beloved. I simply empty and keep my eyes like a fish. This is what we keep doing. When there is, when there is no need more, which is you.
And uh, I haven't figured out what this puddle is, but uh, I promised myself I wouldn't drink from it until I had it tested. <laughs> so, when do you think you can start? Well, I've got to say, this is the cleanest dumpster I've ever been in. Yeah. 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 Well, well, you know, they always say, clean your house before the house cleaner comes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can tell you put in a lot of work oh, in Oh, I here. did. I did. I personally uh, rinsed out all these milk cartons. Uh, well, I didn't have anything to do with the uh, thing. Um, but I yeah, I think that that's where that puddle came from. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Well, well yeah. how come, how come it's, how come, well, nope, yep, there's no mistake in that. Yeah. How come it's purple? I think that's why you need to get it tested. Right, oh, I know what it's from. It's from all them damn aubergines I've been eating. Ah, oh, that'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. And the, yeah. And the oh, the beets, too. Oh, uh, well, you shouldn't eat the beets. That's true. No, not the, I eat the beets for extra crunchiness. No, oh, yeah, that's the only reason to eat the beets. Oh, I'm talking about the beets. The beets? Yeah, the beets. <laughs> the beets? Yes, no. I mix in the vegetable beets with um, the shitty beets by tray that people keep throwing in the dumpster. No, I bet you get a ton of those every yeah, day. I do. I uh, mm. chop up the vegetable beets with the earbud beets, yeah. and then I make beets them out. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so I, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. This See, is the most beats I've had in a long time. We, we were missed, we were fools for doing a puppet slam. All these jokers want to see is beatboxing. Yeah, do it again. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot. It's COVID. You can't beatbox during no, COVID. No, just cover your mouth when you do it. Oh, that's how yeah. you're supposed to do it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, not your mouth, your mouth. Anyway. I'm not going to explain it to her how that doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Anyway. So, um, I can only pay you a dollar and a half. Oh, that's twice what I'm making right now. Great, wonderful. Yeah. So, uh, you start cleaning, and I'm going to introduce the next piece. All right, I'll start cleaning. All right. Here, to perform for you, are Madigan Burke and the little guy. Hi, everybody. Can you see me okay? Yeah. Okay, great. So I'm little guy. I'm so excited to be here tonight. Thank you for our hosts and our, our other hosts and tip your bartenders and all that. Um, I see some familiar faces, but mostly y'all are strangers, so we're going to play a little game. <laughs> now, I want you to think about, what do you think I am? Don't say it out loud. <laughs> Don't say it out loud. Just hold it in your head, okay? Now, on the count of three, I want you to say it out loud. We'll say it together, okay? Okay, I am a one, two, three. A Gemini. Did you say Virgo? <laughs> okay, no, I am a Gemini, clearly, all right? Uh, for anybody who got it wrong, that's fine. I forgive you. Um, I'm also a stand-up comedian. I, well, uh, I don't really stand. I sort of do like a float thing. <laughs> but uh, what else? What else about me? Oh, I'm also a very large clitoris. <laughs> um, so on that note, I will say that stand-up comedian is spelled C-U-M, median, because I'm not above puns, and I already told you that I'm a Gemini, right? Okay. Uh, the thing about stand-up is that it's all about vulnerability, right? Right? I see you down there. <laughs> have you uh, have you ever been vulnerable? Yeah. 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 yeah? Hmm. Not sure I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> but me, me on the other hand, I am just literally a sphere of vulnerability, right? I'm like 8,000 nerve endings out here, just sensitive with a capital S. <laughs> All right? Fully vulnerable. The other thing about being a clit stand-up comedian is that uh, <laughs> the context of pretty much everything I say kind of changes. So uh, it kind of changes what I say. So if I can't think of my next joke, 
All I have to do is say something random, like, oh, I wrote a five paragraph essay yesterday, if you know what I mean. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, right? Okay, so you see, your brain is trying to figure out what kind of euphemism you missed out on. <laughs> and you're like, wait, is this a new sex thing that I don't know about? Am I older than I thought? What is Gen Z doing these days? And while your brain is trying to figure that out, I am remembering my next joke and looking like a pro, right? The perfect cheat. All right, my next thing, I want to take a quick poll of the audience here. Everybody down for that? Oh, wow. There's a lot of you out there. Um, anybody in the audience who is queer, let me hear you say, hello. 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 All right. Anybody who's trans or queer, let me see, hear you say, hello. Hello. Love that. And anybody who is trans or queer or has a clitoris or loves and cares about somebody who has a clitoris, let me hear you say, hey-oh! hey, -o. hey -o. Yeah, all right, last one. Anybody who is a bigoted transphobe, let me hear you say, oh! Good, good, nice, like this audience. Good work, good work, everybody, yeah. Cool, that unlocked our next segment. I am actually a, uh, I'm actually a, a trans clit. Now this can mean this can mean a lot of different things, right? Bodies are all different. Trans people look all different, and so does their genitalia, right? All bodies are good bodies. For me specifically, though, I will say the body that I'm a part of started taking testosterone a while back. Now, if you know anything about a body that has a clitoris that takes testosterone, there's something called bottom growth. Now, the body that I'm a part of didn't necessarily take testosterone to get a bigger clit. But I'm down here, and I'm like, OK, let's go. I, I, I am ready to grow. I am going to be a little penis. I know what this is going to be like. Anybody who doesn't know this already, this is a big learning. You're learning. <laughs> learning is happening, and that is good. So I'm down here ready to have my friends be calling me Little Richie, because I'm about to be a tiny dick, right? No, all right. In full honesty, that's not what happened. Nothing really grew down here. As far as downstairs goes, uh, mostly the, uh, <coughs> my ass got way hairier, okay? <laughs> oh, that's too much? We talked about this. Stand-up is about vulnerability. What's more vulnerable than talking about your butthole on stage to a bunch of strangers? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay. The other thing that happened is I uh, kind of got a little hornier. Uh, turns out when the outside of your body starts to line up more with what you feel on the inside, you get kind of hot for yourself more often. <laughs> right? Right? There was normal stuff like watching the L Word Generation Q and Shane's out there in a the tank top swinging a sledgehammer, right? I'm like, great, let's party, I'm ready, here we go. But there was also random stuff like uh, I'm at the, I'm just kind of doing dishes and I lean up against the counter and Whoa. <laughs> hey there, uh, Granite. I've uh, never seen you like that before. So it's kind of all over the place, growing and changing, am I right? Um, hang on, I wrote notes on my inner labia here. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, am I good? Yeah, you're good. Um, <laughs> So I want to tell you about my dream job real quick. All I want to do is help people have good sex, all right? For anybody that wants to have good, fun, consensual sex, I just want to help them. That would be my dream job. Do you remember writing papers, maybe in the 90s? Shout out to my millennials. You're wor working in Microsoft Word. <laughs> Something happens, and then this paper clip shows up, right? <laughs> Clippy, good friend of mine. Clippy shows up and says, hey, uh, do you need help saving a document? I want to be the Clippy for sex. Okay? <laughs> I want to be the guy that uh, you're getting hot and heavy with somebody, right? There's a tongue on a vulva. It's doing a lot. It's really trying. It's kind of missing the mark. And then, shoo, there's me. Hi. It seems like you're looking for the clitoris. <laughs> Would you like me to highlight it for you? <laughs> It'd be great, right? It'd be so perfect. Or like, uh, you're rolling around and uh, your partner turns to you and says, ooh, yeah, baby, uh, I want you to talk dirty for me. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> right? And then there's me. Hi. 
Would you like some assistance in dirty talk? <laughs> press yes or no. And then they could press yes, obviously, mentally. I don't know how this would work. I'm like a you know, sex Google in, in the moment there. And then I would say, maintain eye contact with your partner and repeat after me. Hey, baby, I'm going to write you a five paragraph essay. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. I'm Little Guy. <laughs> Sometimes it's great, and sometimes it's this. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yes, and I wouldn't have it any other way except to introduce this next thing, which is, if I'm looking at my correctly, a film, yes, a film, um, Brittany Clemens and Maisie O'Brien, and it's called Mother Water. A uh, mommy what? Mommy water. Hmm. I haven't heard that name in quite a while. Now let me think. My mama once told me this tale when I was just as small as you. Before our time and the time before. When our ancestors were brought to the country in chains, the white man tried to strip off our mind, body, and spirit. But you see, our people were strong. We were determined to escape their captors and revolted. However, despite their grit, they were no white man's weapon. And with no other option but to surrender, they chose death instead. But, as they sank to the darkest region of the ocean and their last breath escaped their body, something divine happened. Their vengeful spirit survived in the form of Mommy Water, the Mother of Water. What does she look like? Some say she's half human, half fish. No, children. She's much more than that. She's a protector, a healer. And where are the mommy water now? Mommy water lurked where the bravest of our kin died long ago. They drowned unsuspecting passers by in order to take possession. Why would they do that? To 
find their lost ones stolen from them ages ago. The ones they had to leave behind. The ones too afraid to die in order to live. So what happens if it doesn't find who it's looking for? Some grow tired of their search and return to see, while others decide to stay, attempted to pass for human, or short at least. But as you can imagine, these creatures never quite fit in. Or <laughs> Now run along now, children. And be careful not to cross a mommy water. You said the 
might come to this. <laughs> I hate to say it, but plan B. Yeah. Oh my god. It's time to meet your maker. <laughs> You uh, sort of um, uh, were a part of the last one with these uh, horns you got going on here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead and make fun of my old yellow horns. <laughs> you got to trim them. Like they are. Yeah, you got to trim them, Dad, like the like the young people do. Well, you know. See, I got cute little horns like this. I'm old school, okay? Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. got to trim your uh, horns and trim uh, other things too. <laughs> you are very hairy, Dad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm just What are you just trying to say, son? Well, you would this probably. This feels like a very awkward conversation for us. I'm just saying you would probably get out of the house more. If only there was someone who could explain awkward medical things or other things to us so that a father mm -hmm. and son wouldn't have to have an awkward conversation. Our next piece is an actual medical person and a puppet that is another medical person. Here is Dana Kogan and Questions with Dr. Rita. Hi, everybody. It's super, super, super nice to meet you. My name is Dr. Rita, and this is my friend Dana. Hi. And, um, we're here to answer your actual, real-life medical questions and give you actual, real, puppet-life medical answers. Um, in the past, we've talked about things like, why do we care if an erection lasts more than four hours? Or, what's the deal with bivalent vaccines? And all kinds of stuff. So, uh, uh, can we get the lights, maybe, so we could get your real questions? There's no clamps here. I really want your questions. Anybody? Anybody? Okay. Actual real medical questions, Actual, go ahead. Should, should we just, oh yes, 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 thank you. Yes, go ahead. Can my kids take hormones to transition? The question is, when can my kids take hormones? To transition. To transition, well, hormones are happening, right? And so really, what you're asking is about, do we want hormone blockers or to help transition them, right? We want a gender affirming care because all bodies are good bodies, I think. I think our, our buddy said that. <laughs> little but little guy, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't he amazing? Yeah, I think it's an incredibly personal decision that families make together. 
that really talks about who we are, where we're going, and understanding that all bodies change. So I, I can't answer that question for you or your family, but there's a lot of evolving endocrinologic answers to, to that question, but there's a lot of safety. Um, there's a lot of good data that things are very safe. It really just has to be talked about and shared as a decision. But thanks for your question. Okay, well that was so, come on, maybe that's something silly. I mean, look, it was great, it was important, but you know, I'm, I'm a, yeah, yeah, yeah. The other day I was riding my bike and my muscle in my thigh like really, really cramped up. Why does that happen? Because you're bad at exercise. Next, <laughs> next, they were thigh cramped up because they're bad at exercise. You should stretch more first. Okay, everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Just stretch. It'll make all the difference. Yeah? Any, oh, oh, yes. Are yes. masks forever now? Are masks forever now? Well, it depends who you are, and it depends what your goals are. Right? A, a lot of public health scientists would say that COVID-19 is now endemic. Right? It's circulating so much in our community. But when we think about a world oriented towards inclusion, Right, masks are a thing that can help keep, keep everyone safe, including people who have higher health risks. So every situation is individualized. Maybe you won't do it in your family based on who you share a home with. Maybe you will when you're out with strangers because you wanna take care of yourself and the people around you, the ones you do and you don't know. So I think I'll probably be wearing a mask when I'm on a plane but I'm a puppet, and I have really permeable membranes, so <laughs> my wrists are different, you know? <laughs> Thanks, I hope that helps. Anybody else? Oh, oh yes, go ahead. Do I have to wash my hands if I don't touch it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to wash your hands if you don't touch it? I wish you would. <laughs> I just, I wish you would. <laughs> just good hand washing. There's so many benefits. Have the past three years taught you nothing. <laughs> just wash your hands 20 seconds of the water. You can't do this. We can all do this. Okay, anybody else? Questions, comments, yes. Preventative care for vaginas that get bacterial vaginosis or yeast infection. Bacterial vaginosis is an overgrowth of normal vaginal flora, bacteria that's often there to protect us, along with yeast that's often there to protect us. But because of a number of triggers, things like foreign bodies like an IUD or toys or partners, right, sometimes that bacteria can overgrow and create a discharge that can be bothersome to individuals with vaginas or their partners. And there's a couple of thoughts about treating it, but they're discussed with a medical provider. It can include individual therapy or actually prophylactic therapy that's spread out over time. But there's lots of ways to treat it. It's not an STD either of them, but it really has to do with figuring out what works for you and your lifestyle, condoms, hygiene practices, or using antibiotic therapies appropriately. I hope that helps. Vaginas! Who doesn't love a vagina? We quite so much about vaginas tonight, and I'm just thrilled. Oh my gosh. I just. Sometimes I wonder. <sighs> what, it, what it must be like. <laughs> they sound amazing. They sound fantastic. Okay, enough about me, more about you. They can work. Just stay hydrated and stretch, okay? Let's, let us all leave on that. Stay hydrated and stretch. And you better wash your hands. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.
my friend the Yeti. That <laughs> almost rhymed. Yes, you're right. Yeti almost does rhyme with shitty. Hello, everyone. Yes. This is I, the Yeti. That's right. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you for having me and my dinners. Oh, I did not expect you to bring the fish. Why would you not expect me to bring the fish? When have I ever not brought the fish? Well, I mean, we're hosting a show here. Uh, I didn't, it, it kind of stinks. It seems like the perfect time to have uh, little num-nums. Little No, you could not have them um, backstage um, in the um, green room with all the other snacks? I mean, you had to bring them There were here. other snacks? Why did no one tell the Yeti? There was a big announcement before the show. Did all the other performers not hear mm. the snack? The, oh. There are snacks in the green room for the performers. You do not what? have to eat your disgusting, smelly fish out here on the... Do you know how many vegans are in the audience? Well, I am vegan. I don't know what that means. I eat the fish. That's not... The what, vegan. No, that is... You're, you could be a pescatarian. You're a pescatarian. <laughs> okay, I said you mailed it. I said you have pretty good. Did you say mailed it? I said mailed it. Because I got it right. Right. So it's like putting a stamp on an envelope yes, and mailing it out. Right, there. perfect. You mailed it. Ma I mailed it right it. to their brains. That's yeah. right. Yes. Huh, okay, well, are you almost finished with your, uh, uh, you know, now that I look at it, it does uh, look pretty uh, tasty there. Would you like the lady in the tramp this fish? I thought you would never ask her. Let me, uh, see, let's get it. Wait, hang on. Come here. All right. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, okay. Uh, um, Was it good for you? Uh, okay. In the future, if you want a tip, uh, don't try and host a show while also eating a fish. Um, it's true. Because then it will be uh, harder for you to say all the comedy sounds that you have to in this next introduction. Because here, with a part of a larger piece called Conf Kino, is Lindsay Ball with Cranky about crickets. Haha. <laughs>
under blankets of stars. These small miracles that breathe through holes on the sides of their body called spiracles. These magical beings that weigh less than a paper clip. Despite this innocence, for some men, 90 days of life was intolerable. The chirps deemed them a pest to be eliminated. The men chose poison to address their problem. Carbaryl, a chemical compound, insoluble in water, and a guarantor of silence. It was produced by Union Carbide, a company under the Bayer umbrella, a German company once endorsed by the Third Reich that has since reemerged as a trusted household brand, among the humans anyway. Just 90 days. I once asked a cricket why he persisted in the face of despair, fated to live a life so short, hunted by humans looking to make it shorter still, a world that cared very little to listen to his song. He looked at me and softly exhaled before continuing, and I could swear, just for a second, I felt the weight of the world held in that small breath. It will still be worth it, he told me to sing a song of love, of hope, of resistance. That would be worth dying for. Since this is a puppet show, it might be fun for you to see what it looks like when a puppet has a puppet. So I am a little bit bigger, Bob, and this is my puppet. <laughs> hey, sorry I'm late there. What is uh, this? Uh, well, I'm Stevens, yeah. and this is my puppet here, Chubbly. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait, you, you, your puppet has a puppet? Oh, yeah, my puppet has a puppet. What? Well, nobody told me we were doing this. Oh, well, I, I thought I was being cool with that. I was a puppet with oh, this Oh, no, puppet. you were being totally cool. Oh, 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 oh hey, oh, Wilson. No, no, no. Oh, no, that's all right, Wilson. Oh, oh no, we got plenty of puppets. So just everybody's got to come on the stage now. Oh, yeah, pretty much. But, yeah. But, uh, I, I am a puppet and I have a puppet. See, it was oh, fun. Well, and I am a puppet and I have two puppets. <laughs> oh, yeah, and he has a puppet too. Yeah. Why are the puppets with capitalism? Aren't we all? I mean, heck, I'm not even a puppet full time. What? Yeah. What do, you, what do you mean? Well, most of the time I sell balloons and balloon accessories. And I, oh. Well. <laughs> Yeah, he does too. He's my assistant manager. Mm. Well, what? My my puppet has a little fish tie. Oh, look at that! That's a sweet look, tie. Look at that! Oh, look at that! He's got a little fish on his tie. <laughs> what do you do, Wilson? You don't have a tie or a puppet? Oh yeah, I got some completely naked hair tie. I can see your ding dong. Live free, man. Live free. <laughs> Yeah. I get 
think we are uh, making a good team. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you want to go get a puppet and a cappuccino? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, all right. We'll leave you to announce the next one. Let's get a nice little yeah, cappuccino yeah, with some do. froth on the top. Also, we've the person who cannot pronounce the owls. Oh, the owls. Okay. Uh, then this next, next piece is going to be our last piece for the night. Very good, and uh, it is from um, um, uh, uh, the song Our Plafond, and uh, here it is. And please clap, and uh, uh, also uh, stay behind to talk to puppeteers. Okay, um, wonderful. Here we go. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> I'm Simone Grandjean. Yes, I'm a specialist in science of language and um, perception disorder. Yes, <laughs> I'm graduated in the hospital of Chicago, of course, <laughs> in Normandy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you to Blair and Sandy for inviting me to unveil it in front of the audience uh, a very rare case of perception disorder, yes. Yes, yes, I, I, I've met a, a lady who thinks that she can, I mean, she can put inert material alive, yes. I don't know how to, to say it better, but I mean, she has a feeling that she can put inert material alive, <laughs> to say it w w short. Uh, do, 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 do I say the right word, lady? <laughs> yes, yes, that's true. That it's, it, maybe it's many years that uh, I'm trying to give my voice, my energy, maybe even my thought to inert material in order to <laughs> make it alive. Le nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> I can't believe this. You hear that? It starts again, giving I her thought, even her body, even her leg to inert material. <laughs> I can't believe this. Uh, lady, don't you think that you want to take control of the form? No, 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 I, I promise it's not to take control. I really want to, I mean, I, I'm trying to, to put it alive by making exercises uh, in front of a mirror, for example. A mirror, very interesting. It's like an invert narcissism. Narcissism? <laughs> no? No, 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 I promise. It's like I, I put myself in front of the mirror and I say, uh, like, uh, look to the back. Look to the hub, left, right, left. Okay, you tried to make control out of me, no? No, I promise, no. <laughs> um, because it's very, um, sometimes the patient try to take control of the therapist. It's very, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I promise. <laughs> I, I, just, I, just, I promise, I promise. <laughs> Okay, okay, girl, um, <laughs> you're impro improving, okay. So don't take control out of me. No, I promise, I, I, I don't manipulate you. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, look, you feel better, no? Okay, I don't manipulate you, no? No, <laughs> you feel like... En fait, it's just because sometimes when I come in into the theater, I'm so scared about the darkness that I need to have Simone, my 
my therapist with me. Simon? Simon? Are you okay, Simon? Where is oh, she? Oh, my God, my God, what's going on? Where is she? Oh my God, she's looking after me. I thought. Where is she? Oh, oh, she's escaped again. My God. Oh, oh, there you are. Oh my God. Oh, no, no, don't leave me alone with her. I don't want to come back. No, my please. darling. No, please, no, no, no. You've no. escaped again. So I, I, I'm go I'm gonna bring you back right to your house, you know, with all your I imaginary friends and your imaginary world, and in, in you know the the, the quite real uh, psychiatrist uh, hospital. Okay. No, no so please, please don't. I'm yes, really please. scared. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, sh she's not out normally, so <laughs> uh, don't listen to her. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. I, I shall I, shall I take my leg with me? Uh, no, leave them here. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Leave the leg here. Uh, okay. I'll just bring you back. Yes, yes. Okay. Help me. Help okay. me because I'm very, yeah. very scared. Yeah, please, 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 please help me. Okay. okay. Careful okay. with the steps. Okay. 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 Thank you, darling. Thank you. This way, this way. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hang out. <laughs> 